Hey guys, good to be back. In the last video, we've been talking about the basic administrator configuration of the hotel app on our S-Series Voip PBX. Today, let's move on to the operation of receptionist. In other words, let's explore deeper. If you guys want more information about our products, visit our website, www.yaystar.com. Leave us your comment down below here if there's something you want to discuss about. And don't forget to subscribe the channel, just hit the button. Alright, enough talk, here we go! Different from the login way of the administrator with the default admin account, the receptionist is supposed to log into the extension account. In the last video, we set the extension 1000 as the reception extension. This is a username and password. Note that the receptionist is also supposed to be authorized permission of extension part, so that he or she will be able to check in rooms. Now, just log in with extension 1000's account. In the main menu, we can find the hotel module add-on since we have authorized the extension 1000 account to access the add-on. Open the app on the room list page. We can perform multiple tasks. For example, room check-in, check-out, and check or change the room status. For instance, let's see how to book a room for a guest. If there's a new guest who just visits this hotel for the first time, we can directly book a room for him. Choose the room type, set the check-in and check-out time, fill in the first name and the last name of the guest, both of which are required. Other information is optional. Next, check send email. Once the room is blocked, the system will send a booking notification to the guest's mailbox. If we want to make it work, the email address of guest must be filled here. Say, there's a guest Jason New who wants to book a single room. Choose single room, set the check-in and check-out time, enter the guest's name and email address, and just check the send email. This is how to book a room for a new guest. Well, if there's a regular guest who has been to this hotel before, maybe, after a couple of months, this guest visits this hotel again, booking a room. We can finish the booking much easier. On Guest List page, find the guest, for example, Daisy. Click on Book. Fill in the related information and then we can see the booking room on the booking list page. If we need to cancel the booked room, just delete it. A pop-out page will prompt us to send notification email to the guest. Enable Send Email and click on Save. The booking will be cancelled and the guest will receive a notification email. When we need to check in the guest who has booked already, just check in here directly. Select a room and set the wake-up service. Then, we can see the check-in status on the room list page. If the guest hasn't booked a room, the way for check-in is kind of different. For a regular guest, we can search for the guest information and check in for him or her directly. Take an example. We have one regular guest, Ramon. Now, what we are going to do is just find him in the list and click check in. Then, we fill in the related information. Here we can see the room check-in status. If a new guest comes to the hotel, we're supposed to choose an available and a clean room. Help the guest to check in. Tips! A dirty room won't be allowed to check in because we've enabled room must be cleaned. Click check in. Set the check in and check out time. Enter the guest's name. Set up the wake up time. Our job is done. Sometimes guests want to change a room. Well, click on move and we can choose a new room. We can also input extra charges if the guest has damaged the room items. In the notes field, make a note of extra charges information or the reason guest would change room. Then the room will be changed. The original room status turns dirty immediately, which means it's not allowed to check in. Every single guest can only change the room for once. Sometimes, we might have a bunch of guests which would be a team group or a tour group. We can actually create a room group for them. For example, a Yaystar team has been checked in. Name it. Choose their rooms. Back to the room list page, we can see the group information. 
If one of our guests, Daisy, needs to check out, what we're supposed to do is to check and confirm all the information like minibar, call information, has been cleared. Then click on check out and put extra charges if the guest has damaged room items. In the note field, make a note of extra charges information or others. Enable send email, so the system will send a billing report to the guest by email. For a guest group checkout, we can check out all their rooms together. Don't forget to check and confirm all the information of each room before checking them out. Then we just choose group checkout, select the group and checkout time. Enable send email and enter a guest email address whose mailbox will be able to receive the billing report. All billing reports can be checked here. Open the report. We can see the room information and expense of each item as well as the hotel name, logo, and other basic information which we have set as the admin. Print it out for our guests. Back to the app, all reports are allowed to be downloaded. The file contains the check-in and check-out time, guests' full names, and the total amount. Our guest information will be kept by the system even if they have left the hotel. What's more, we can also add a new guest or a bunch of guests with the template. Export all data and use the download file as the template. Delete the original information, type in new guest contents, and save it. Then upload it into the system. All the guest information will show up in the guest list. Alright guys, that was how we make the receptionist perform daily tasks with the hotel app. Hope you liked this video. So, same as Euro, just hit that like button if you like this video, subscribe if you aren't already, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Visit our website for more updates. We'll be talking about a new app in the next episode. I will see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned.